What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Jasmine Diaz, Celebrity Matchmaker. And today I am breaking down five dating trends for 2021 that we really have to get rid of. Um, if you are someone who is currently on the dating scene, trying to wade through the waters and figure your way out, uh, that this video is absolutely for you. So before we get started, I invite you to click subscribe and uh, hit that notification so that you can be notified anytime I do a new video. So let's get in right away to what we're talking about today. First up today, we are talking about breadcrumbing. Does any of you know what breadcrumbing is? Um, if you happen to know a little bit about breadcrumbing, drop me a comment below and let me know if you are someone dropping crumbs. But in case you don't know, let me bring up the definition. So breadcrumbing is the act of sending out flirtatious but non-committal social signs, i.e. crumbs, dropping crumbs out there for people. Uh, some people do this quite often, right? You might meet someone on a dating app, meet someone online, go to the gym or whatever. You exchange numbers, you're communicating, things seem cute, right? Like you're vibing, feel like maybe there's a potential, and then all of a sudden, the communication stops. Have you been there? You know what I'm talking about. But then, suddenly out of the blue, the communication picks up again and someone says, hey, how you doing? Or, hi, would you, would you like to meet up this week? And then suddenly, the communication dissipates again and the person disappears. You never really hear from them again. Weeks go on and then they come around again, dropping more crumbs right? Making you all confused, wondering what the hell is going on. Well, that is breadcrumbing, my friend. And that is definitely a dating trend that we need to let go of in 2021. Um, if the pandemic has taught us anything, it's that connections, human connections are absolutely needed, right? For us to feel happy and whole in our lives. And uh, for most of us, we relied very heavily on Zoom and other technology communication forms to keep ourselves out of like depression zone. Um, I know that I am very fortunate that I have a family, I'm married, I have a son. So I have people around me all the time to communicate with. But for a lot of singles, they live alone. They don't have people to connect with. And so, you know, having someone that you can have a real dialogue with has been a lifeline for so many. Uh, breadcrumbing is one of those things that we should let go of primarily because no one has time for it. No one has the time to be left on a, t a little t tethered string and strung along for weeks and days and years. Who knows how long? Some people have been breadcrumbing for, for a lot of time, for, for many, many years. So, you know, this, let's say goodbye to breadcrumbing in 2021. What do you think? Is you, you feel like that's something we should let go of? I agree. So let's go on to our very next dating trend that we should let go of in 2021. So have any of you heard of the term sneeting? I'll put the definition up for you. According to the Urban Dictionary, which we know is, I don't know, somebody who said that this dictionary matters. <laughs> sneeting is the action referring to someone who sneaks and eats. So if I could put this in better terms, these are people who go on dates for the sole purpose of a free meal. Now, I feel as though that um, the reason why this trend should die is pretty self-explanatory, especially if we're talking about health and safety. Um, going on a date just to get a meal, uh, you know, it's not it right now. And the primary reason, as I mentioned before, is health and safety, right? You know, if you're going to put yourself at risk to go on dates in person, um, I, I would highly encourage you to invest your time and your energy in someone who is actually going to be worth that risk, right? So if you are going on dates online, um, connecting with people at the gym or wherever you're connecting, that you are thinking thoroughly about the intent right? The intent might be to hook up. The intent might be to have a long-term relationship, but going on a date just for a free meal is definitely 2019. 
and should be dead in 2021. Now, are you somebody who has gone on a date just for a free meal? Do you feel like this is something you would encourage people to do? I definitely wanna hear your thoughts in the comments, but it's something that I think that should go away for all the reasons that I mentioned before. But not only that, I think it's really shady to um, encourage or mislead someone for the sole purpose of getting in them pockets. And, uh, you know, we definitely don't have time and energy to present ourselves in that way. So let's say goodbye to Sneeding and hello to something more. Okay, so my next dating trend might actually be slightly controversial. And I'm gonna throw it out there. You guys tell me what you think. Am I wrong? Am I right? Am I on base or off base? You let me know. But I definitely think that uh, this next one should go for sure, which is Netflix and chill. Woo, boy, I know that's uh, that's definitely a hot topic for some people here. So let's talk about the definition of Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill is a distinct phrase, which means to watch Netflix with a romantic prospect with the eventual expectation of sexual activity. Okay, so I don't know about y'all, but I definitely think that Netflix and chill needs to go. You know, there's so many things that are going on in 2021, right? We're still getting back out in the world. We're rediscovering who we are as people since we've been living under a rock literally for over a year. And again, it's very similar to the sneeding, right? Going out on dates just for a free meal with Netflix and chill. I feel like if you're going to invest your time in, in someone, it's got to make sense. It's got to be with somebody that you feel like has that long-term potential. But again, I understand this is controversial because some people may not necessarily feel like that's what they want. Uh, maybe you do want to hang out for a little bit, hook up, get some, go. Now there's nothing wrong <laughs> with that per se, but I definitely think we should reevaluate the connections that we're making with people and the signals and signs that we are sharing. Um, and that they're clear, right? And that our communication is effective. Now, if you know going into this situation that you are not trying to be in a long-term relationship, then definitely get your Netflix and chill on. But if you are someone that is looking for something more substantial in your love life this coming year and beyond, we gotta say goodbye to Netflix, right? Maybe Netflix and chill with that person when you're in a relationship and not before. The next dating trend that we should say goodbye to in 2021 is ghosting. Doom, doom, doom. How do you guys feel about ghosting, right? You know, I feel as though ghosting is one of those things that somehow got adopted by people who lack great social skills. Now, I might be messing up some people by saying this, but I think that we should say goodbye to it in 2021, uh, primarily because we need to learn how to be effective communicators, guys, right? Um, this all kind of circles back to, this, to the same core thing. Um, everything that I've talked about so far and the things that we should get rid of is all about investing your time in someone or what your your purpose is in your relationship life um, and being thoughtful and with intent. So everything kind of goes back to the same circle, right? Saying goodbye to ghosting, I think does a couple of things. One, it makes your communication clear, right? There's nothing wrong with going on dates uh, with people and feeling like, okay, maybe I didn't have the connection with this person. Maybe it's time for me to move on to something else, bigger, better, whatever. Whatever the reason, there's a good one for most people. But I think what ends up happening and where people go wrong is that they are not able to say, you know what, this isn't for me, or perhaps we should be friends. Um, and, and having that level of communication provides clarity, not only for yourself, but for someone else. I think where a lot of people uh, feel confused with ghosting is that they don't understand why. They don't know what happened 
the connection seemed like it was great and then all of a sudden the person disappears. But I think there's an opportunity for us to learn from our dating experiences, to become better daters, to be more effective, to communicate more. Um, and without giving that person the opportunity to learn about their mistakes and how they can be better uh, for a future partner, I think is a missed opportunity for everyone involved. Um, you know, I believe greatly that we don't have to go on a series of bad dates in order to find the right person. And um, the only way that you'll know how to have a better date is if someone tells you that you're a bad date. <laughs> so I think ghosting needs to go. I really do. Um, do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you feel like you're a ghoster? Have you been ghosted? I don't know. Like I, I now I will say this. Sometimes ghosting um, is absolutely necessary for your, your safety, um, depending on if you're a woman approaching a man. I mean, there's all these different reasons why people ghost. And I understand. I understand, y'all. Don't be getting in my comments talking about Jasmine, you know, why? Why are you telling us not to ghost? But, but, but I think that we could do better in, in this coming year. I think that we should learn from last year and all the things that went wrong and course correct. Think about the things that we can do better as daters, as singles, and, and just, do, just do more. I think we should do more, for sure. All right, so my last dating trend that I think we should get rid of in 2021 is a term that I actually heard last year that I thought was, you know what, I'm with that. Uh, which is woke fishing. Have any of you heard of woke fishing? It's really interesting. So let me bring up the definition right now. Woke fishing is when someone pretends to hold more progressive thoughts than they actually do, which is bait for more matches. Mm, this definitely makes you think of a lot of things. So if you are in dating apps, um, there's a lot of new features that have brought, been brought on in uh, the past couple of years. Now people are doing uh, video dating, which is something I am an advocate for. Uh, but it's interesting because since the social and political climate was so toxic the past year and a half or more, more years, um, you know, there has been, uh, there's been, there's been some things that people have been saying on their profiles that maybe they haven't really said before, believe, um, or feel like is a part of their lives. And they want to post and share these things because they feel like it will increase their chances. So what are some things that I'm talking about? Talking about Trump, maybe talking about feminism, talking about Black Lives Matter in some of your communication. But your everyday does not reflect some of the things that you claim to be woke about. So, Mm, that is definitely something we got to say goodbye to, guys. I don't know about you, but I believe in living my life authentically. Um, as I mentioned earlier in a video, that sometimes it's really hard for me to uh, be out and open. And a, and a lot of that comes from my own experiences. But one thing is true. I believe in being who you are. And so if you are presenting yourself forward-facing, on an app or out in the world as one person, do you not think that the person you're going on a date with will not notice the difference in who you are showing up to be? I just think it's a huge waste of everyone's time to not be who you are, right? There's there's things about ourselves that, of course, might rub someone the wrong way. Maybe you have a sense of humor that is not popular. Maybe you have a thought that's not popular, or maybe you have a viewpoint that's not popular, whatever it is. Um, you owe it to yourself to show up true uh, because I think it's a missed opportunity to connect with someone who is exactly like you or has similar thoughts and feelings. Um, and showing up as someone that you're not just is, I mean, that's, you know, I'm dating myself, but that's whack, you know? So um, woke fishing is definitely something we need to say goodbye to in 2021. Now, if I can go back to the beginning, we talked about so many different things that we should say goodbye to in 2021. Um, all of the dating trends, we talked about sneeding, breadcrumbing, Netflix and chilling. I know like y'all are not going to be happy about that. Woke fishing. What else did we talk about? I mean, I feel like I'm missing one. Did, did I, did I, 
Did I miss one? Oh no, I think, and ghosting. We talked about ghosting too. All of these things that we talk about that we should say goodbye to are just my opinions. I am a dating expert, uh, but that doesn't mean I'm God. So, you know, definitely live your life if you feel like that is something you wanna own. But I, I welcome the dialogue and the conversation. If you agree or disagree, leave your thoughts in the comments. And if you're not subscribed, I encourage you to do so. Thank you so much, and I will catch you next week. Bye.